Hello, I'm Emily, and let's get started with our welcome song. Let's go over our signs first. We're gonna have our hand up and out for a hello. Our fingers are going to hug because they are friends. We're gonna tap our watch for it's time. Our finger comes up and out for to say hello. Are you ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello. All right, let's do it in Spanish. Let's go over the signs in Spanish also. This is hola. Our fingers are gonna hug because they're amigos. Our top, our watch for es tiempo. Our finger comes up and out for de decir hola. Are you ready? Hola amigos, hola amigos, hola amigos, es tiempo de decir hola. Good job! Our story time today is all about an animal that likes to climb in trees, has a big bushy tail, and gathers nuts. Do you know what this is about? It's going to be about squirrels, my favorite animal. So all of our stories and rhymes and songs are going to be about squirrels. Do you know the American Sign Language for squirrel? You're going to put your fingers out like this. You're going to bend them like this and you're gonna knock them together. This is squirrel in American Sign Language. So do you know the Spanish word for squirrel? It is ardilla. So put your three fingers out because there's three sounds. We're gonna stretch out that word. Ardilla, ardilla, that is squirrel. Our first book is Anything With You by Charlie Miley. The book is really interesting because the person who wrote this book also drew the pictures. And I read this book really, really fast because there's not very many words. So what I did, I used my storytelling skills while I was reading this book. And I assigned the characters names. This character right here reminded me of me. So I named this character Emily. And this character reminds me of my husband, Matt. So I named this character Matt. And as I read the story, I'm gonna add some, some storytelling from the picture. I was outside feeding my snail, and I thought, maybe Matt wants to go outside. Look! Let's do something together, you and me. Let's go outside. Let's see what we can find. Look, there's a lizard under there. Look at this leaf, it's under this other leaf. Oh wow, there's all different kinds of leaves out here. Let's see where this takes us. Whoa, Matt lost his favorite hat. I hope we can find it. I found it, Matt. Uh-oh, the squirrel likes the hat. He took Matt's hat up into the tree. Oh no, what are we gonna do now? With you, there's always a way. Matt is very clever. He figured out how to get up to the tree so he can get his hat back. Oh wow, this squirrel has really been finding a lot of things. There's a letter in there. Wow, here's your hat. You know just what to do. Matt was very proud walking across the stones, but wait a second. That's not a stone. That's a turtle. Whoa. Matt, grab onto this stick. Uh, Matt has an idea to get this turtle back to the shore. What would I do without you? Hugs. Hugs. 
Let's keep going, you and me. Oh no, I'm sad. Look at my face. But Matt has an idea. With you, I always feel better. How nice. They built the butterfly. Look! What does that cloud look like? Mm, to me, it kind of looks like a tree. I really like trees. It also kind of looks like a mushroom. It's time to head home. It's getting dark. Hold on to what you have. Look at all these squirrels. They might come and get it. And smile at what we found. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. Our next song has rhyming words. Rhyming words have the same ending sound like dog and log. So here are my two squirrel friends. You can bring up your fingers like this too. Two little squirrels sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Did you hear the rhyming words? Was it Hill and Jill? Good job. Two little squirrels sitting in a cloud. One is soft and the other one's loud. Run away, soft. Run away, loud. Come back, soft. Come back, loud. So cloud rhymes with loud. Good job. Two little squirrels bouncing on a ball. One is short and the other one's tall. Run away short, run away tall. Come back short, come back tall. Good job. So did you hear the rhyming words? Was it short and tall? No. Was it ball and tall? Good job. Two little squirrels climbing on the bricks. One climbs slow and the other one climbs quick. Run away slow, run away quick. Come back slow, come back quick. So brick and quick. Good job. Two little squirrels swinging in a tree. One names ah. And the other one's name is Wee. Run away, ah, run away, Wee. Come back, ah, come back, Wee. So, what were the rhyming words? Was it ah and Wee? No. Tree and Wee. Good job. Our next story is Squirrels Leap, Squirrels Sleep by April Pulley Sayer. And the pictures are by Steve Jenkins. Squirrels wrestle, squirrels leap, squirrels climb, squirrels sleep. Did you hear any rhyming words? Leap and sleep. You're getting good at this. Meet the squirrels. Gray, fox, red, flying squirrel overhead. Tail umbrella, tail as flag, tail for balance, zig and zag. Wait, flag rhymes with zag. Ooh. Nose for sniffing, jaws to chew, eyes for looking back at you. Wait, chew and you, pretty good. Pause for climbing, pause to pick. Pause for cleaning, pause run quick. Did you hear one? Pick and quick. Good job. Squirrels chirp, squirrels drink. Can you guess what squirrels think? 
drink and think. Squirrels reach, squirrels rest in a tree hole or a nest. Squirrels gather, squirrels store. How many seeds? More, more, more. Store and more. Squirrels stretch, squirrels yawn. Munch the acorns, are they gone? Yawn, gone. Five are hidden, will they sprout? Seedlings push up, up, out. Trunks grow upward, trunks grow wide. Squirrels circle, squirrels hide. Wide and hide are rhyming words. Squirrels wrestle, squirrels leap, squirrels climb, and what do you think they do? Squirrels sleep. Oh, isn't it cute? The end. Our next song is about squirrels. Singing songs is a good way to stretch out words so that you can hear the individual sounds. So here's our song. Down around the corner by the old oak tree set five little acorns looking yummy. Down came the squirrel with the big bushy tail. He took one acorn and ran off down the trail. Now how many do we have? One, two, three, four. Down around the corner by the old oak tree sat four little acorns looking yummy. Down came the squirrel with the big bushy tail. He took one acorn and ran off down the trail. How many do we have now? One, two, three. Down around the corner by the old oak tree sat three little acorns looking yummy. Down came the squirrel with the big bushy tail. He took one acorn and ran off down the trail. How many do we have? One, two. Down around the corner by the old oak tree sat two little acorns looking yummy. Down came the squirrel with the big bushy tail. He took one acorn and ran off down the trail. Just one left. Down around the corner by the old oak tree sat one little acorn looking yummy. Down came the squirrel with the big bushy tail. He took one acorn and ran off down the trail. No more acorns. Our last book is I'm Sticking With You by Smriti Prasmadam Halls. And the pictures are by Steve Small. Wherever you're going, I'm going too. Whatever you're doing, I'm sticking with you. Whether you're grumpy or silly or mad through good times and bad times, happy or sad, Whatever you're thinking, I'm all ears. I'm ready to listen to all your ideas. Crack! Uh-oh, squirrel does not look happy. Ready to be there to help you along, even if sometimes it goes a bit wrong. Achoo! Oh no, squirrel's house. Whatever you're doing, that is the plan. You may think I can, but I bet you I can because I will try things that I never would do. Never, that is, until you showed me to. Like peas in a pod, you and I fit. Like strawberries and cream, we are a hit. Whatever the game, I'm on your side. No mountain too tall, no river too wide. We sit by the cliff top, we sit by the lake, we sit by the ice cap, I eat all the cake. We um, actually bear 
I think I need to be on my own if that if you don't mind it's getting a bit crowded in here there's barely any room really are you sure oh okay then ah that feels better each thing in its place, all neat and tidy. There's so much more space. I can do whatever I fancy. Nothing's a squash and nothing's a squish. It's such a nice change to do things alone. Whatever I want to, all on my own. I've got all I need. I don't have to share. Everything's perfect except... I'm a spare. Actually, hey, bear, 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 come back, 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 back. Who am I kidding? Where would I ever be without you? Who else would listen? What would I do? Who helps me be the best I can be? Who shares their very last chocolate with me? Me without you, it just doesn't work. Me without you, I just go berserk. So like it or lump it, you're stuck with me. For better or worse, that's the way it should be. Whether you lose or whether you win, we'll be there together through thick and through thin. We'll pick up the pieces, we'll patch up the hole. We'll mend what needs fixin', because that's how we roll. When we're unstuck, we won't fall apart. How could we ever, we're joined at the heart. We'll fit back together like bugs in a rug, like jam in a donut, like arms in a hug. So wherever you're going, I'm going too. Whatever you're doing, I'm sticking like glue. And whether you like it or love it or not, we are a team. The end. For our next song, you're going to have to pretend to be a squirrel. So you're gonna have to climb a tree like a squirrel. You're gonna have to turn around like a squirrel. You're gonna have to touch the ground like a squirrel. Can you do it? Awesome. So, squirrel, squirrel, turn around. Squirrel, squirrel, touch the ground. Squirrel, squirrel, climb a tree. Shake your bushy tail with me. Good job, let's do it quicker. Squirrel, squirrel, turn around. Squirrel, squirrel, touch the ground. Squirrel, squirrel, climb a tree. Shake your bushy tail with me. That might be the fastest I can. Squirrel, squirrel, turn around. Squirrel, squirrel, touch the ground. Squirrel, squirrel, climb a tree. Shake your bushy tail with me. Good job, I tricked you. <laughs> now it's time for our activity. So what you will need is the craft sack from Fort Worth Library. If you don't have one, you can pick it up in any of our library locations. But you, all you really need is a sack that you can't see through. You probably have one at home. Inside the craft sack, we have given you this cute little picture of a squirrel. We're going to use a glue dot to put it on our craft sack. Our craft sack is going to be a mystery bag. All right, for this activity, you are going to go into nature and find some different items. You're going to need to find a leaf. I chose this oak tree leaf. A stick that will fit inside the bag. A rock something that'll fit inside the bag, maybe something you can fit inside your hand even. And we gave you a feather because if you find a feather out in nature, it might have germs and mites and things you don't want on you. So we gave you a nice clean feather so that we can describe them and put them in our mystery bag. So you and your caregiver can go outside and find these items. So let's describe the feather first. First, this feather, it's bendy, it's soft, it has a pokey end, 
and it has this hard piece in the middle. So I'm gonna put this inside my mystery bag. The next thing is this oak tree leaf. It's very thin, it's smooth, it has little pokey parts, and it, it's flexible, and it feels like it, I could rip it, so I wanna be very careful with it. I'll put that in the bag. And now I have the rock. This is much heavier than the other items. It's rough, it's hard. All right, let's put that inside the mystery bag. And this is a stick. This is also hard. And if I bend it, I feel like I might break it, so I'm not gonna bend it. It has little pokey ends and it's rough. Let's put that in the bag. So now that you have everything in your bag that you need, we're going to flip it up and we're going to shake it. And we're gonna sing a song. What's inside the mystery bag, the mystery bag, the mystery bag? What's inside the mystery bag that makes us think of nature? So, when you reach your hand inside the mystery bag, I want you to try to find something that you described. So I'm going to look for, just with my sense of touch, the rock. The rock is heavier, it's rough, and I think I've got it. There's the rock. I just used my hand to figure out where that was. So let's put it back inside and see if we can find something else. What's inside the mystery bag, the mystery bag, the mystery bag? What's inside the mystery bag that makes us think of nature? All right, let's see. I'm going to find the oak tree leaf that I found. Oh, I, I can feel it, I think. It's very bendy and Seems pretty fragile. Let's see if it made it. All right, I found it. So, okay. You can do this as many times as you want. You can also do different items. This is a good way to practice vocabulary and language skills and to use your sense of touch. I hope you enjoyed story time. Let's sing our goodbye song together. But first let's go over the signs. This is goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Are you ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. And now let's do it in Espanol. Adios amigos, adios amigos, adios amigos. Es tiempo de decir adios. Bye.